All right. One card on the bottom for Rockford. I don't know. I'm just telling stupid stories. Rockford, um, which is basically the point of the stream, really, if we're being honest. Great Furnace. Lotus Petal. We're doing it. Goblin Engineer. What are we looking for? Is it going to be Dragon Engine? Is it going to be Chaos Defiler? Is it going to be Obsianus Golem? It's Rexian Dragon Engine. At the end of your turn says, do any of y'all get nervous playing Reed? I don't think so. Uh, despite the... It may, it may seem like everything is really intense, the way I present everything on stream. But if you're there in the room, everybody's having a good time. I try to make it seem really intense, though, you know, like this is all really serious and important stuff going on. Rockford Clutch with the, uh, with the phone. Sure. And I'll end my turn and draw from the bubble. Yep. All right. Reed bolts the goblin. Nicely done. And draws off the Mishra's, <coughs> Mishra's bubble. Speed traders. Mabel. With two cards in your hand? Yes. Yeah. That's Fable of the Mirror Breaker. It's getting dazed. Rockford, with proper technique here, using a checklist card or a placeholder card or helper card. We don't want to be seeing cards taken out of the sleeves and flipped around. We just don't. We just don't want that. That's just not what we want. Ensnaring bridge. Ensnaring bridge. Okay. That makes things interesting. Judge. Someone in the back in the background needs a judge. Maybe some maybe something going haywire. Go ahead. Somebody drew an extra card. Someone shuffled their sideboard into their deck. Somebody did something. What do you think they did? The person in the background screaming for a judge. What What do you think happened? Did someone reveal an attractions deck? <laughs> All right, brainstorm with red plus fetch open. Always gets a little scary these days with Bowmaster around. Yeah, I do occasionally call a judge because people are laughing. <laughs> Richard and Pizza was here hanging out with us on a recent stream where Reed was blowing up stuff with K Command. So, this Ensnaring Bridge is not guaranteed to hold off Reed's Delvers, Merktides, and DRCs in this game. Richard and Pizza pointing it out perfectly. Channeler? Yes, your turn. All right, there's Dragon's Ray Channeler. It does not look like Reed has Delirium right now. Instant land. Oh, an artifact. So three types. Not much going on from Rockford, but protected somewhat behind this bridge. Attack for one. Go ahead. All right. Attacking through the bridge. Rockford's going to have to empty the hand if we want this DRC to stay back. Two cards in hand now. Uh-oh. What could be in Rockford's hand anyway? Hmm. Like Red Blast or something? End step Bowmaster. Uh oh. So I'm at 17. 18. Uh, 
Attack for three. Fifteen. Attack for three. Rockford goes down to fifteen. <laughs> Taking a look now at Frexy and Dragon Engine. I'll I'll put the card text up on the screen one more time, just in case anybody missed it. It's got a wall of text on it. Double strike when it enters from the from your graveyard. You may discard your hand if you do draw three cards. Unearth three and two red. Three generic, two red for unearth. <laughs> This came up recently. You can't reanimate your opponent's dragon engine and get a CTB. It has to be your graveyard. Not that Reed has reanimates, but just figured I'd point that out because it's good to know. It's under no threat from scam for them to get any value other than a 2 2 double striker. All right. Here's Goblin Welder. That could make things interesting. Yes. Two cards left in Rockshore's hand. One of them may be a Power Blast. Unsure what the other could be. Reed not blowing up this tomb. Maybe hoping Reed, uh, Rockford activates it. The Orc Army is a 1-1. One, one. No Delirium. <laughs> yeah, this match was at Game Storia in Astoria, Queens. Rethinking about effects before damage. Yeah, take three. You're at 12. Yep. Your turn. All right. Passes the turn. Any uh, time Reed tries to surveil here, he could potentially turn on Delirium after attackers are declared. Wasting Saga with its trigger on the stacks. Nicely done. You can waste Saga before it can even make mana. Some people are uh, not aware of that, I guess. It's ETB or... Chapter 1 ability gives it the ability to make mana. You can respond to that and blow it up. And they can't make mana. It just dies. <laughs> and it could matter quite a bit against these painter decks. That extra mana could hurt them. All right, so attacking now with 4 power could become 8 power. If Reed has a bolt, uh, no, that, that, that wouldn't end the game. For a second, I thought that would, but anyway. <laughs> Goblin Welder is live, which could matter. Rockford, not welding just yet. Passing the turn, the Sincerian Bridge is not looking very exciting at the moment. Reed has been able to go under it somewhat easily in this game keeping himself off of delirium has been important grindstone it's it's possible that combo kill could happen but 
no painter in the yard. And Reed could potentially have eight power next turn. So Welder, Grindstone, Dragon Engine. Okay, so we're doing that. Discard, Chaos Defiler, and Fury. Ooh. Okay. Huh. All right, so drawing three cards. Bowmaster will trigger three times. Hmm. One on Welder and two on you. That's fine. All right, Welder dies. Rockford takes two. The Orc army now has four power. Fetch first. Five. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm unsure about the Fury because maybe Rockford did not want to pitch Chaos Defiler. Now going to three to cast Engineer. Bolter in response to Shigan in the game. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, one on the bottom for Rockford, who got in an early ensnaring bridge but couldn't keep their hand empty. Fury, pitch chaos to Filer, play Grindstone with an empty hand. Is pretty good though, right? Would that have been a better approach for Rockford there? There were three cards in hand, I believe, if I remember correctly. Play Grindstone, leave it on the table. Fury, pitch, cast a filer, blow up. Uh, force Reed to turn on Delirium. Target all four creatures with one damage. So the DRCs become three threes. Potentially. And then be hell bent past the turn. With Welder live. Cast the Filer and Exile. Is that a better approach to that situation? Did I lose everybody? I think everybody fell asleep. Yep. Go. Plateau, attempt to switch. Swords and DRC here. Yeah, it would keep him alive and then potentially can bring back the dragon engine at some perfect time. Or maybe even after that. Well, you don't want to draw the car still because of bridge. Maybe on Reed's end step. Bloodstained Meyer and Hester. Very curious what the YouTube commenters think about uh, Rockford's potential plays to end game one. Definitely let us know. I'm not much of a painter player myself, but uh, for some reason I'm stuck on that whole sequence. There might have been a better way that... I don't know. <laughs> Red Blast on Brainstorm. I like that. Is this Reed guy new? Yes. Um, right before this match, learned how to play with uh, dual decks and now playing Legacy with us. Uh, 
Sure. All right, passing the turn. Rockford has managed to disrupt quite a bit here. Simeon's spirit guide. Okay. Yep, it's good. <laughs> Replays with damaged cards to poor Ponder. Oh, because it's signed. I don't know. Go ahead. Grindstone comes in. Uh, I'm kind of guessing here, but in s in small conversations I've had with Reed, I think Reed's kind of like me. Oh, there's Coligan's command. We were talking about that earlier. Um, Reed's kind of like me, where there'll be cards that uh, I just have this card laying on my table, but there's there'll be cards that um, appear to have nothing notable about them, like they just look like a blank, uh, a, a near mint version of whatever card or whatever, and it still means something because it's like, oh, well, this particular copy of Volcanic Island, I actually traded with my friend, you know, some some name. Uh, when when they were on the bus with me, and you know, like there's a story to, and a memory to every card in the deck, and uh, it's not necessarily about like if they're signed or if they're foil. It's just like the individual object itself has a story, and I'm kind of like that too. Do we have anybody watching who's like that? Like the cards aren't signed or foil, but they're still special. One, two, three, four. Fury. Passing Fury floating one colorless. Yes, sir. Fury floating one colorless. Hydroblast and surveil. Ooh, Hydroblast surveil. That's what you get for red blasting my brainstorm, says Reed. Did they test Hydroblast and Pyroblast for 1v1? Seem a little iffy. Seem like commander cards. Alright, here's Merktide Regent. Oh boy. Modern Horizons, everybody. Yeah. Six six Mark Tide. A little bit of glare on it. Apologies. Yeah, still delirious. Painter with one card in hand. Could be combo. Um, blue. Monka TG in the chat. Say what's up to Monka, everybody. Oh my god, Dracker. What a terrible story. Lightning Bolt, you. Lightning Bolt ends the game. Reed gets it. Looks like Chaos Defiler was in uh, Rockford's hand there. <laughs> 